this week has gone entirely differently compared to the previous one in terms of Christ movements as BTC has failed to produce any major moves for several days straight now and uh, the altcoins are also uh, untypically calm uh, with very few notable fluctuations over uh, the past day. Last week was highly volatile as the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission greenlighted 11-spot Bitcoin ETFs on Wednesday. Uh, in the days leading to the event, as well as 48 hours after it, the entire crypto market was displaying massive price fluctuations. And Bitcoin, for one, soared to over $49,000 last Thursday when the products reached the U.S. markets, but dumped by more than seven grand in the next 36 hours amid enhanced sell-offs. After marking a low of $41,600, the asset recovered some ground and entered the weekend at around $43,000. And the landscape has been completely different. Since then, BTC calmed at around that level and has moved only by around $500 in each direction since the weekend. As now the primary digital asset remains below $43,000 with its market cap under $840 billion and its dominance over the altcoins at 49.7% on CMC. Uh, although they're more volatile by nature, the uh, alternative coins have also been quite sluggish in the past several days as well as the last 24 hours. Ripple, Cardano, Avalanche, Dogecoin, and Polkadot are slightly in the red. Chainlink and Polygon have declined by 3%. Many uh, ETH, BNB, SOL, and TRX have charted in significant gains. Aptos and Filecoin have jumped the most from the top 36 alts by less than 3% though. Flare is the only double-digit gainer while Rune and Beam have slumped by 10%. The total crypto market cap remains still at under $1.7 trillion on CMC.